Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and this is the first video in a series on making bar charts using Unity's UI system. So one of my first video series was about making a pie graph by um, creating an image and um, using the radial uh, reveal to create it. And someone asked, how do you make a bar chart? And so I wanted to kind of address that with a few videos here. Uh, they'll be pretty short though, because this is a little bit simpler actually in some ways than, um, than doing the pie graph, because you don't have to do circle math. Um, However, there are some options we're going to look at here, and I'm going to make this a pretty dynamic graph in that we can put in any number of um, data points and be able to compare them, um, which is really the best use of a bar chart, obviously, is for comparing different types of data, and that could be something in terms of comparing how um, players in a multiplayer game do, or um, comparing, say, how your resources are in a strategy game. So this is just a quick example of what one of these graphs might look like, and um, let's dive into how to make one. So let's get started by creating a new project and setting up the elements we're going to need in our scene. So we'll go File, New Project. We'll call this Bar Chart Example or Bar Chart Tutorial. Make sure it's in 2D. Not the end of the world if it isn't, but it simplifies things for you. And we'll create our project. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping and create some folders for ourselves. I'm going to create one folder and call it scripts, and one more, we'll call this sprites. Now there is one sprite that's going to be really useful for this chart, and that is, if you remember in the chart I had the y and x axis um, on the screen there, and I did that, I created a very simple image, I will link to it in the um, in the description of this video, uh, but you can also certainly feel free to create your own. Uh, let's go import new asset. Uh, let me go to my tutorials bar chart, and here it is. It's a very small image. I think it's just, yeah, it's a 32 by 32. And we are going to quickly jump into the sprite editor here. We can keep it single, 100 pixels per unit is fine. Go to the sprite editor, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green handle here, and I'm going to pull it in just so it's just inside of this line. And likewise, I'm going to do the same on this bottom green handle and pull it up just above this line. And the reason for this is that when I'm going to create the panel, I'm going to make it a sliced image so that this piece here and this piece here can stretch as far as they need to um, without it distorting this uh, these axes. So that's all we need to do there. I'll apply that, close out of that, and then we can actually start building our scene. So first thing we can do is we're going to go create UI panel. And that's going to create a canvas for us automatically as well as an event system. Um, but the panel is what we really want here. This is um, going to be what's containing our bar chart. In fact, we're going to name this bar chart. I'm going to, I don't want the bar chart to go all the way to the edges of the screen, so I'm going to bring it in by about 60 pixels on all sides. You can certainly adjust this based on your screen size. And instead of this background image, which is the default image for um, panels, I'm going to drag in this graph axis sprite. And I'm going to make sure that the alpha is all the way up. And so we see here we get this nice line here. It's you know the same same thickness all the way across. If we hadn't done the slicing, actually if I go to simple, you'll see it just becomes this very blurred, messy thing. But because it's sliced and because we pulled those um, sections up and to the left here, it uh, stays as a nice consistent line for us. I'm also going to go into my main camera for one second here and go into this background color. I'm going to make this like a light gray. Um, it's just a little bit nicer. Yeah, that looks good. A little bit easier to see uh, versus the blue that Unity defaults to. I'm also going to save our scene. I'm just going to call it underscore scene right on top in the assets folder. You can create a separate folder for your scenes if you want, but in this case we're just doing the one scene, so save some time there. Now 
uh, we've got our bar chart and we've added our image so we're gonna add a couple more components to this the first one we're gonna add is a horizontal layout group I just did that by typing HOR into the search bar you can also find it if you go down to layout it'll be uh, third from the bottom in the list and what this is going to do is this is going to create a system where we're going to have um, each bar will appear in our chart, but if we have more than one bar, which we'll obviously eventually want, um, they'll automatically be spaced out for us uh, the way we want them to be. Uh, we can keep these all as they are right now. Um, yeah, those all, all the settings in here look good for now. The last thing we're going to add is actually a custom script that we're going to add. So I'm going to go into our scripts folder and say create C sharp script. I'm going to call this bar chart. I'm also going to create a second script that we're going to need in a minute. And this one's going to be called bar. So in case you um, can't guess from it, this one is going to go onto our bar chart. In fact, I'll just drag that right onto it. So now we have it here at the bottom underneath the horizontal layout group. And bar is going to go on each prefab that we're going to create that is a single bar inside of the chart. So let's go about creating that. What we can do here is right click on your bar chart. So it's going to create, because when you right click on an element and create something, it makes it as a child, which is exactly what we want. And I'm going to create, I'm actually just going to create an empty. And what's nice is when you create an empty in the UI system, as a child of UI, it makes it as a rect transform for you, which is exactly what we want. And I'm gonna name this, I'm actually gonna name this bar holder, because it's not gonna be the actual bar that gets um, resized for us, but it is going to be the, um, kind of the container for it. However, I am gonna give this that bar script that we made, because this is going to then control the actual uh, visual bar that's going to be inside of it. So now if we go to our scene, um, let me focus in on this bar. So we've got our bar chart, which is this square here, and then our bar holder, which is also currently filling up the screen, or filling up the bar chart because there's only one element and it's being expanded to fill up the area. So now what we can do is I'm going to add one more layer to this. I'm going to add into our bar holder an image, and this is actually the visual bar. I want to place this so that it's at the bottom because I want this to kind of come up from that bottom axis. So to do that, I'm going to go over to our um, positioning, the kind of what looks like a targeting reticle here, and I'm going to choose this one that's the stretch across, but then on the bottom. And I'm also going to hold shift and alt so that I'm setting its pivot and position to that bottom. And now we see that that stretches that all the way across our bar holder. Now I want there to be a little bit of space on either side here and there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, you could do it by increasing the left and right margins here for example and you can go you know say 20 and 20. Um, another option would be to do it in the padding of, um, or in the padding and spacing of your horizontal layout group. I'm going to just do it in the um, in the bar itself. The other thing I'm going to do is I want to make the bottom um, this position Y, as it's called here. If I zoom in, you'll see the one issue we have is that the bottom of our bar is overlapping the line and that's because this axis doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of this um, container. So I'm going to just move this position Y up. I believe it's six. Yeah, six pretty much lines up perfectly with that bottom line. So we'll keep that there. Save that. And now what we can do is we can actually take this bar holder. I'm going to add one more folder here. I knew there was one more I needed. I'm going to call this prefabs. Oops prefabs, open that up, and bar holder I'm going to click and drag down into here. And the reason for that is that when we 
start up our scene, what, instead of actually putting in bar holders into the scene, our bar chart is going to see, oh, I need three bars. I'm going to instantiate three bar holders or bar prefabs, if you will. But just to kind of give you a, an example of how this works now, if I duplicate this bar holder, you can see that each of these becomes um, its own bar and they're all spaced out. And so what we're ultimately going to be doing, which I can kind of do um, manually here, is resize these like this. And now we've already got the beginnings of what our bar chart is going to look like. Obviously, we're not going to do this manually. We're going to have that bar chart script take care of all that for us. And that's what we're going to get into in our next, um, next video. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.